Nomine Patis, the Fili, the Spirit of Santi, Amen. In three Bora Tare Dei. Judica me Deus, edition a causa meam de generon sancta bom, equa doloso, edue me. Emite lucem tuam, e veritatem tuam. Ipsa me deduxim et aduxim et montem sanctum tuum et in tabernacula tuam. Confite votivi in citra Deus, Deus meus, quare triste se sanima mea quare conturbas me. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritu et Sancto. In the vivo a rotare Dei. Aggiutorio nostum in nomine Domini. Confitio di Onipotenti, Beate Maria, Sempre Vilsini, Beate Michele, Angelo, Beate Ipane Bautiste, Santi Sapos, Rispetto e Polo Omnibus, Santi Sebobis Fratres, Via Peccavi, Nibis Cocitazione, Vevo Ropere, Mea Culpa, Mea Culpa, Mea Maxima Culpa. Il Dio preco, Beata Maria, un simbio e fiel sin inviato, Michele, Macangelo, un viato, Ioni Bautista, Santo suo apostolo, spetem, e Paolo Momne, Santo, se vos fratres, orare pro me, le dominum Deo nostro. Amen.
Misteriato veste omnipotens Deus, et emis suspicatis vestis veducar vos ar vita meteranam. Indulgentiam absolutis tine meremis tine peccatoro nostro contivat nobis omnipotens et misericos dominus. Deus tu conversus vivificabis nos. Ostende nobis domine misericordia metuam. Domine exaudi ratione meam. Dominus of abiscum. Orremus. Ramos te dome vivereta santorno tu oro coro reliquie. Benedici miserabili, Signore, in tua parola, Domine, misericordia di tuoi quei secoli, assunto, noi un condominio, nuovi nemici nostri, libera i nostri, o si sarà ex omnibus angustiis nostris, a te, Domine, le vabbe, anima meiam, Deus mio, in te confido non ero vescam, gloria patri e fili, o spirito e santo, sicut era di un principio, e nuque sempre, e in secola, secolo, amin. Femminisce, miserazione, non tu vuoi un domine, misericordia di tu e quei a secolo sunt. Ne unque un domine, tu nove di nemici nostri, libera nos Deo, si sta l'ex omnibus angustiis nostri. Chirie e leisan. Chirie e leisan. Chirie e leisan. Criste e leisan. Criste e leisan. Chirie e leisan. Chirie e leisan. Dominus Vavis Gum Alemus Deus qui conspicis omninos virtute destitui Interis exterius qui custodi Ud ab omnibus alversitatibus mundi amrin corpore Ed ab pravis cogitationibus mundi morrin mente Per dominum nostum e Iesum Christum e Filium Tuum, qui te convivere regna di nunitate Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secola secolo. Amen. 
Leitio bisremia di Paolo e Apostoli a Tessalonicenses. Fra camas e robs e camas in domino Gesù. O que mal mal vai ser pesis a nós, como a poder vos amolar e placer e deu, segure de amoletes ut abondentes magis. She is anyway prayed sheep that they were involved with her dominum, yes. E che se ne volontà se te santificazio vestra, o l'abstine e la forza fornicazione, o ci adono squisse vestum sum vasum positivo in santificazione e l'onore. Non è passione di sedi di risi che c'è nel suo ignorante Dio. E ne qui su per credi auto, ne che c'è un vini di negozi, o fratello e mso. Quando un vini di sedi di domino, se è omnibus, dico pretissimo, svolvi se testificati sumo. Non è ne bocca per tosse, se io segno un punto di azione, se ne santifica, se io nemmeno. E ne Cristo, Gesù, domino nostro. Leo, grazie. Ti bracci nel scuro e dismetti la tati, se te necessità ti bosmi e di femmi domine. Vite umili, tati, me me la buona, me me temite, onde peccata mea. Confitte mi nei domini, quando è buono, quando è in secolo, misericordia di Aios. Cristo, quei tuoi potenzi, domini, a zitta, spazzirà ogni slaude di Aios. Vediate qui, Cristo, mi dice, mi faccio giustizia, mi faccio ogni tempo, mi faccio i nostri domini, mi faccio i nostri domini, mi faccio i popoli tuoi, mi faccio la nostra salute di tuoi. Amen. 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 Sequenza santi e vangeli secondo Matteo. In il lo tempo le. Assunse in Gesù, Petro, me, Giacobbe, me, Giovanni, fratelli, e io. E tutti i nostri monti, me, stia, sono sei orso, me, transfigurato, se è stante, e io. E resti pleno di pace, e io, sicco, sol, vestimentato, me, fate, se ne alba, sicco, tenex. E il Ege a Pala che vuole dire il Moise di Elia come io lo quente. Risponde a te Petro Stinxi a Gesù. Domine, buono me sono sic e sei. Sic vis faccia di te e tabernacola. Ti vi uno Moise, uno me Elia e uno. 
Alok elok wendi ai che no ves lu jira bam ravir no bei di chens i ges videos meus directos in kwe mi ge bene kom plak wi ipsum and all in the ship, the church, the only party, and so I met me around the ball day. And I chased it, I yeses, I teach it, a yostic, sick, a yes, so did it not lead it in me. Levantes as the uncle of tools, name in vitero, and is a solemn yes. And the shin and the word the Monday prayer with a yes, yes, or the chance. Name it, it's a little busy. Oh, name. Don't like videos, all means a motor is less. Oh, God. The epistle for today, the second Sunday in Lent, is taken from the first letter of the Apostle St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brethren, we pray and beseech you in the Lord Jesus that as you have received of us, how you ought to walk and to please God, so also you would walk that you may abound the more. For you know what precepts I have given to you by the Lord Jesus. For this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you should abstain from fornication, that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor, not in the passion of lust, like the Gentiles that know not God, and that no man overreach nor circumvent his brother in business, because the Lord is the avenger, of all these things, as we have told you before and have testified. For God hath not called us unto uncleanness, but unto sanctification in Christ Jesus our Lord. The Holy Gospel is taken from the Gospel according to St. Matthew. At that time Jesus taketh unto him Peter and James and John his brother, and bringing them up into a high mountain apart, and he was transfigured before them. And his face did shine as the sun, and his garments became white as snow. And behold, there appeared to them Moses and Elias talking with him. Then Peter answering said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here, if thou wilt. Let us make here three tabernacles, one for thee, and one for Moses, and one for Elias. And as he was yet speaking, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and lo, a voice out of the cloud is saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. And the disciples hearing fell upon their face, and were very much afraid. And Jesus came and touched them and said to them, Arise, and fear not. And then lifting up their eyes saw no one, but only Jesus. And as they came down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, saying, Tell the vision to no man, till the Son of Man be risen from the dead. A couple of announcements. Note that the schedule for the ceremonies this week is a little different. So if you plan to come to the masses or devotions, take a copy of the bulletin. 
This coming Tuesday is the Feast of St. Joseph, patron of the Universal Church. It's one of the ten holy days of obligation in the Universal Church, but it does not oblige in South Africa. Nevertheless, we're going to have a high mass at 8 o'clock in the morning for St. Joseph. We'll be meeting of the altar boys after mass this morning to hand back, go over the exams that they did last Sunday. Girls camp starts on Wednesday. It's full, but we still have some openings for the boys camp the following week. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, Amen. Let us make here three tabernacles. It is certainly true that our divine Saviour, His sacred humanity, was the tabernacle, the temple of the divinity, as St. Paul says, in his letter to Colossians, that the, the plenitude of the Godhead dwells in him corporeally, in his physical body. The fullness of Godhead is there. Our divine Savior himself said so when, on Palm Sunday, he said, destroy this temple, and on the third day I'll rise it up again, referring to the temple of his body, temple in which God dwelt. And the sacred humanity of our Lord Jesus Christ, united in one person with his divinity, is truly the tabernacle, the dwelling place of God with men. But our divine Savior deigns to share that extraordinary grace with us. That we also might be, in a very real way, tabernacles of the divinity, temples of God. St. Paul says so in his first letter to the Corinthians. He says, your members are the temples of the Holy Ghost who dwells in you. It's why you're not your own. You belong to him. For you've been bought with a great price. Therefore, carry and bear God in your body. Hmm. We share then in the divine life and our human bodies and lives become likewise temples. Tabernacles of the Most High. Extraordinary mystery is this mystery of grace of which our divine Saviour spoke when he said, If any man loves me, he will keep my commandments and we will love him and we will come and make our abode with him. Speaking of his Father and the Spirit of Truth whom he would teach all truth. He said this in his discourse after the Last Supper. How many times he says the same thing in different ways. Abide in me and I in you, and you will bear much fruit. And that abiding is the divine indwelling. It's the great mystery of our faith. We don't feel with our human feelings, the presence of God, the Holy Trinity in our souls, because it's a spiritual presence. But we know about it, yes, through faith. We're told that when we're in the state of grace, we're the dwelling place of the Blessed Trinity. We observe it too in our own lives. We observe it because when we have the indwelling of the Blessed Trinity in our souls, we have the longing to accomplish God's commandments, to do His holy will. We have the horror of sin and of offending Almighty God. We experience the effects we're able to do 
and perform acts of virtue, overcome temptations that we could never do by our own selves. We know then by faith and by the effects about this indwelling of the Blessed Trinity in our souls. But there's a problem. And the problem is this. If the indwelling of the divinity in Christ's sacred humanity was perfect, everything he did, God the Son did perfectly, the same does not apply for us. There's something very imperfect about this indwelling of God in our bodies. St. Paul says it himself, O oh, unhappy man that I am, who shall deliver me from this body of death? And he answers his own question, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. I feel a war between the law of sin in my members and the law of grace fighting against one another. We feel the same thing. So that the indwelling of the Blessed Trinity in us is very imperfect. It's why St. Paul said he longed to put off the dwelling, the habitation of this body and to put on a heavenly habitation. Provided, he says, to be found clothed and not naked, clothed with God's grace. That longing for the victory of heaven over the weakness of our bodily life is the longing for the final fulfillment of the indwelling of the Blessed Trinity in our souls. But is there anything we can do, given that we are so often unaware of the presence of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost in our souls? We so often don't practice that presence, don't show that presence. Is there anything we can do? Well, most certainly there is. There is a practice in the church which is essential to the spiritual life by which we can maintain the reality of the divine indwelling and live it and practice it and strive to perfect it in our hearts. And what's that practice? It's the practice of the presence of God which all of the saints practiced in their innumerable activities and which was the key to their sanctification, which is the will of God for us also. The practice of the presence of God means three things. St. John on the Cross points out there are three ways in which we must be aware of the presence of God in us. First of all, God, who is the creator of all things, who is present in the whole of creation, everything that exists, God is there, not physically, as if he's constrained to a physical place, but spiritually, he's present in everything that is made, by his essence, by his power, and by his presence. He's present in all things. And he's present in us. He's present in other people. He's present in sinners. He's present in every creature. He's present in animals, in nature, in the beauties of nature. We must see then the glory of the Creator who is present. He gives its being to everything there is and maintains it in existence, even the sinners, in whom not everything is evil and vitiated because God has given them something good. We can see that. He possesses all things by his power because all depend upon his almighty power which keeps everything in existence in harmony and living together and provides for all the necessities of life of the good and the bad, the just and the unjust likewise. And his presence, by his presence, he knows all things. All things are open to his eyes to see and discern his divine omniscience sees all things. 
and therefore is in the whole of creation. And the first way in which we practice the presence of God is to see this presence and to see that nothing escapes the plan of his providence and his wisdom that directs all things for his own honor and glory. But then there's another presence, a second presence, much more intimate. And there's the presence of God in the souls of the just, who have sanctifying grace. That indwelling of the rest of Trinity, that supernatural presence which we know through faith, which enables us to love God and keep his commandments and serve him, which we could not do without this divine indwelling. And this divine indwelling is the basis of all the good that we can do. And we should be filled with amazement that sinners that we are, we still have God in our hearts and our souls and he dwells there. And he gives us the grace that we need every day. And yet so often we're forgetful of it, we're not mindful of it, we don't think about grace, we don't think about God in our hearts. He sleeps there. He's so often not active. And even though we're in the state of grace and he's there, we pay no attention to him in our hearts. So being mindful of the presence of God means to be mindful of this supernatural presence which is always there and to reflect constantly and come back time and time again to this supernatural presence that we have. We lose it through mortal sin, alas. Regain it by good confession, which gives us that goodness of soul and tranquility of mind that we can love and serve God. St. John on the Cross talks about a third presence of those, he says, who have a special affinity with God, of the devout who long to stay in God's presence and who live close to him at all times and are always mindful of him. And he gives them the grace of experiencing that closeness. We find it in the lives of the saints. Take, for example, St. Catherine of Siena, Third Order Dominican, filled with mystical graces, but yet forced by her family with whom she lived to take part in all of the family activities and conversations, busy in her life. And so what does she do? She created an oratory in my soul. And there, in the solitude of my heart, I always adored and praised the love of God who dwelled there. And while in the midst of conversation, she would speak to Jesus in her heart and offer up the difficulties of every day. She never stops speaking to him. She practiced the presence of God in a heroic manner. We see this also in the figure of Father William Doyle, Irish Jesuit who died in the trenches in the First World War, preparing himself for that great struggle by a life of intimate recollection. Thousands of times a day he would remind himself of the presence of God in his heart. And when God spoke to him and, and gave him this intimation you must consecrate and give yourself entirely to me i mean everything so you you no longer have any desires or wants of your own you give yourself entirely to me he would offer himself time and time again repeatedly during the day sometimes he recorded the thousands of ejaculatory prayers he kept the presence of god at all times and this enabled him when he was in the trenches helping those poor men who were dying and bringing them the sacraments in the midst of their agony their bodies blown apart, he would bring them God. Because God was in his heart, overflowing with love for their souls, he would take their souls to heaven. Because he had this intimate presence of God in his heart. Now how is it that we're going to practice the presence of God? We who are weak mortals, It means to reflect often and to think repeatedly that I am God's creature and to think of myself in the presence of the Creator. 
And then to think of the divine presence by grace in my soul, which is constantly giving me good thoughts and desires and reflecting upon the, the miracle of grace and the presence of my divine Savior. St. Francis de Sales has a special recommendation to help us to practice the presence of God. And it's this, he says, think often, repeatedly of the sacred humanity of our Lord Jesus Christ. Think of our divine Savior in all the stages of his life, through to his passion. That sacred humanity is now glorious in heaven, but he offers to his Father all the events of his whole life. And when we think of Christ and reflect upon him, he comes into our souls in a very special manner. As St. Paul says, it's no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. In the life I live in the flesh, I live in the faith of the Son of God who gave himself up for me. And so to think often of what Jesus did and suffered and how he walked upon this earth and how he's present in my soul in all of those mysteries will maintain the presence of God. He is the Son of God, inseparable from the Father and the Holy Ghost. And there he is in our souls. That's why it is we have crucifixes and we think of them. And we think of Christ's sufferings and what he did for us, and we're in the presence of God immediately. To do that often through the day is a wonderful source of living the graces of the divine indwelling. And we can expect four special fruits to follow from this practice of the presence of God. First one, is a profound horror for sin, which will protect us from falling into sin. When we think of the divine majesty dwelling in our souls, who will want to commit a sin to offend the divine majesty or to offend the goodness of God who has given his grace to me so many times over? How would I want to insult the justice of my divine Savior who died upon the cross for me? And so I have a horror for the offenses against God every time that I reflect and think upon the presence of God in my heart. Secondly, when I practice the presence of God, I have a zeal, a zeal for the salvation of souls, a zeal for the glory of God, a fervor in my prayers, because I'm right there with my divine Savior, the friend of my soul. He's right there. He's sharing his life with me. How can I not want and long to love him, to love him better, to love him more, to love him perfectly? To live then. That life of Christ. As St. Paul says also in his second letter to the Corinthians, we carry about in our mortal body the dying of Jesus every day, that the life of Jesus might be present in us also. So when we think about our divine Savior and his presence, we're filled with this longing to live that life. It's the life, of course, which received its culmination on the cross. There's the perfection of love, perfection of life, of giving, and it can be ours. It's ours for the having, for the taking, if only we unite ourselves by the practice of the presence of God to our divine Savior. In the midst of all that we do, in activities, we turn to our Lord and we have this fervor. Third fruit of practicing the presence of God is it gives us a great confidence and trust in the mercy of our divine Savior especially when we reflect upon the divine indwelling, that supernatural presence which we have not merited and which could never merit, which Christ merited for us. And we think of how free and wonderful is this gift of this divine life, how God has been so good to us and dwells in us. To those who received him, we say in the last gospel, he gave to them the power to become the sons of God, who believe in his name, who are born of God. 
And we think of that, we feel with confidence that he will not abandon us. He'll give us the graces we need, even when we find carrying a cross, overcoming difficulties, bearing with those who insult us. Difficult, we have confidence in the grace of our divine Savior. And in that way, we prepare ourselves for eternity. And finally, when we have that presence of God in our hearts, we'll have the longing for a holy death. We have a longing to be one with our divine Savior. A longing then for eternity. It's all the fruits of the indwelling, thought of, recollected upon, brought to mind this truth of our faith which we make a part of our daily life. Not some far off mystical abstract consideration of some theologians, but no, a reality of every day. So let's ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, Tabernacle of the Most High, dwelling place of God as no other human creature ever was, that she might obtain for us that longing to practice the presence of God as she did. The Lord is with thee, and God was with her for her whole life. May God be with us. May she obtain for us that grace that he might be with us in a special way, that we might be mindful of it, that we might be filled with the longing of accomplishing his holy will of living together with God our Lord here on this earth that we might receive that wonderful blessing of being his for all eternity in heaven. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Credo in volum Deo. Patem omnipotente, pactor et celeste, revis de pini, volume de vis de pini. Et in unu dominum Iesum Christum finium de unigeni. Et es patem natum ante omnia secula. Deum de Deo lumi, de lumine, Deum verum de Deo vero genitum non facto causas asiene, patem pequem omnia facto sunt, qui porte in os omnes et porte in os in salute in descendi de genitum. Et incarnatus est de Spiritu Santo ex Maria Filsine et homo factus est, crucifixus est, et por nobis su ponci pelato passus est, putus est, resurrexe tertia dies de cunas scripturas, et ascede in cerum serata dexteram patris, et iterum venturus est con gloria judicare vivos et mutuos quius reni non eri de finis, et in Spiritum Santo in Domino ve vivificante qui spati filio qui procedit, qui copati e filio simon adorato e con glorificato e quello cuto si spi profetas ed una santa cattolica per apostolica me ecclesia confidia una baptisma in missione peccatorum ed esperio resurrezione in mutuorum ed vita venturi secoli Amen Un non fatto con su sassiale patria peque vanea facta su we protein us all in this. We protein us and salute them. They shed it, they shed it. They think I'm not to this. They speed you to some call. Ex Maria Virgin. And I'm a factor of things. The chief is to see I'm born of his. So upon see of me that I'm. As to see the portal of things. The 
Gloria a Padre, Figlio e Spirito di Santo, si coterà in principio e per sempre, 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 Frate, frate, a città di fila, ma tempo, a tempo, a tempo, a tempo, a tempo, a E ogni secola secolo Dominus Faviscum Sorsum Corda Sagamus Domino Deo Nostrum Vele digno medius Domese come salutare non si vi sembra di rubi que grazia a sangere, domine sante patria omnipotenza eterna e deus, qui cobra di aiunio vizia con primis mente me levas, per tutti i nagiri se premia per Cristo dominum nostrum. Per quei me è stato in tua amlata d'angeli, allora dominassi onestremo un po' d'estate. C'è lì, c'è loro, qui per tutti, da beata, serafim, 
so Jesu da si onde con celebrand con qui vos e nostra sfoce su da mide io be a te precamor so prece con vesi onde dicente Sanctus, 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 Dominus, Deus, Sanctus, Plenis, Uncheria, Terra, Gloria, Deus, Sanctus, Nations, Benedictus, qui venit in nomine, Domini, O Sanctus, Nations.
Não biscou com o epê que é turibus. Omnia secula seculorum. Olemus precepis salutaribus amaniti, et divinis delusione formati ademus dicere. Pater Noster, qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum, avenia regnum tuum, via voluntas tua, sicut in cello et in terra. Pane nostrum quotidianum da nobis odiei, et imite nobis debita nostra, sicur et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentaziones. Omnia secula seculorum. Pax Domini sit sempre vobis gom. E come se fosse preso il corpo se stava a tornare a sinistra, Cristi vita ci viene di questa vita, vita mi ti andrà. Anjus Dei, cui tu hai spiegato il mondo di misteri e di nubis. Anjus Dei, cui tu hai spiegato il mondo di misteri e di nubis. Anjus Dei, cui tu hai spiegato il mondo di dono e nubis pace. Domine, gli sta questo di esistenza e posto di tutto pace, ma di poco ma spazio a me. E gli spazio di casa di essere figli di me, di essere tu hai. E anche secondo volontà, ti ho fatto di cari con l'aria di mi rispondere su questo e su questo e con l'essere. Vedi Dei, vedi questa volontà che parte scuopa la disputista di memoria in tuo mondo, vedi il Dio. Libera di Nox, che questo è il tuo corpo, se sei in tuo mondo, in questo di quietà, in questo senso di rimessa spalessa. E fa me tu, se sei per i denari mandati, sarà di nuovo, se per la lei per me tassi. Qui con il Dio, Dio, parte scuopa di vivere, se me stessi, se quella sei con l'uomo, me. E se sei con questo, che dovrei essere più dovrei vedere, se me ne preso, non mi ci può venire, tu mi dici, mi condanno a zero. Se tu hai pietà, ti posso dire che tu ti metti in mente se il corpo è scambiato in pace di vita. Io vi sono in scuola di abbattere in unità di Spirito Santo e di Espero una seconda sera.
Domine non su dignus. Domine non su dignus. Domine non su dignus. Miseriato veste omnipotens Deus et dimissus peccatis vestis perducat vos ad vitam eternam. Indulgentiam absolutiam et remistiam et peccatorum vesto contiba vobis omnipotens et misericos dominus. Ecce agnus Dei, ecce quittoni de peccata mundi, Domine non sum digno surinda e subtectum meum, sed antu dic verbo est in abito anima mea. Domine non sum digno surinda e subtectum meum, sed antu dic verbo est in abito anima mea. Domine non sum digno surinda e subtectum meum, Se tanto dic verbo est in abito anima mea. Corpus Domine nostri Gesù Christi, custodia tanima tua me vita. Corpus Domine nostri Gesù Christi, custodia tanima tua me vita. Corpus Domine nostri Gesù Christi, custodia tanima tua me vita. Corpus Domine nostri Gesù Christi, custodia tanima tua me vita. Corpus Domini nostri Gesù Christi, custodia d'anima tua mi vita mi tu. Corpus Domini nostri Gesù Christi, custodia d'anima tua mi vita mi tu. Corpus Domini nostri Gesù Christi, custodia d'anima tua mi vita mi tu. Corpus Domini nostri Gesù Christi, custodia d'anima tua mi vita mi tu. Corpus Domini nostri Gesù Christi, custodia d'anima tua mi vita mi tu. Corpus Domini nostri Gesù Christi, custodiet animantum a mi vita, mi vita, mi vita, mi vita. 
Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua mi vita, mit. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua mi vita, mit. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua mi vita, mit. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua in vita, mit. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua mi vita, mit. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua mi vita, mit. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua mi vita, mit. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua mi vita, mit. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua mi vita, mit. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua mi vita, mit. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua mi vita, mit. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua mi vita, mit. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua mi vita, mit. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua mi vita, mit. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua mi vita, mit. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua vita, mit. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua vita, mit. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua vita, mit. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua vita, mit. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua vita, mit. Fati se vidi e spirito santi, Amen. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua vita, mit. Fati se vidi e spirito santi, Amen. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua vita, mit. Amen. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua vita, mit. Amen. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua vita, mit. Amen. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua vita, mit. Amen. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua vita, mit. Amen. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua vita, mit. Amen. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua vita, mit. Amen. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodi da un tuo vita, mi tiene a me. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodi da un tuo vita, mi tiene a me. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodi da un tuo vita, mi tiene a me. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodi da un tuo vita, mi tiene a me. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua vita, mitia, mamma mia. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua vita, mitia, mamma mia. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua vita, mitia, mamma mia. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua vita, mitia, mamma mia. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua vita, mitia, mamma mia. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua vita, mitia, mamma mia. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua vita, mitia, mamma mia. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, custodia tenebam tua vita, mitia, mamma mia. In nome dei Patti, se vi dei Spirito Santo.
Copos do não são assim. Nesse ângulo de convidar a ideia de ter a vida das minhas. É por isso que eu tenho que me dar uma vantagem. Me pôr a sentir uma ficha fundamental. Por isso que eu tenho que ser com a segunda. Entendi que a mora mamãe, entendi que você racionou as minhas reis de Deus, quando eu até o rabo. Dominus Pobis Nom. Sopricestero capos omnipotens teus, o quos tuis reifici sacramentis, te vies in placidis moli butiniante de severe concedas, per dominum nostrum in Jesu Christo filium tuum, qui te convivida regna in unitate spiritus sancti Deus, per omnia secola secolo, Dominus Pabis Gom Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus. Dominus of Abiscum. Initium Santi Evangelii, secondo mia vannem. In principio era il verbo, ma il verbo mi era tappo di Deo, ma Deo era il verbo, ma anche era in principio tappo di Deo. Omni per Ipsum, Fatus e Resti, in Ipsum, Pactum est, Nichi qua Pactum est, in Ipsum, Vite erat e Vite erat, Lux Omnium, Lux in Tenebris, Luce e Tenebre, e io non comprehende, Vundu, Fui Tomo, Missus, Adeo, Covi, Nomen, Erat, Giovannes, 
He venit in testimony, but testimony of the liberated lumine o tomnes credere pe illum. Non era tere luxere o testimony of the liberated lumine. Era lux vera que lumina tomne momine venite me ungo mundum. In mundo era de mundo spirit, non facio seste mundo seum non cagno vite. In propria venite sui eo non esce peruns. Quaque la venite esce perun de imderite es palestani filios e dei fieri. His free credo di nomine e spi non e sanguini, vos ne quis volontà di carnis, ne quis volontà di viri, se ne ex Deo nati sunt. E veo bun carro factum est, et abit abit in nobis e vidimus, e gloria meus, gloria quasi unicenit, e apate, plenum grazie e veritatis.